Jamie Osborne rides today. Three is Little Pove here, written by Ronnie Began. Same colours as Castle Warden. Four is Star of Screen, Mr. Mark Richards, claims four. Five, Andrema, Mark Dwyer. Six, the Langham Dyer, Phil Tuck. Seven, Knock Hill, George Murner. Eight, Mithras Guy Landor. Nine, Over the Road, Mr. Tom Costello. Ten, Solaris, Neil Doughty rides. Five pounds overweight. Eleven, Mighty Mark, Brian Storey. Twelve, What's What, Colin Hawkins. Thirteen, Cheney's Brig, Tim Reed. Four pounds over. 14, RDC, written by Tony Carroll. Then 17, Brandy Hambro, Kevin Doolan. Number 18, perhaps lucky, Ross Arnott. 19, The Howlett, Kevin Jones. 19 to 2. Mighty Mark is 9 to 1. And Hardy Lad over the road, Star of Screen. And Brandy Hambro all on 10 to 1. Little Povia, an 11 to 1 chance, opened up at 9s. And RDC also on 11 to 1. What's what, 11 to 1 as well, with Knock Hill on 14s and Cheney's Brig and Solari's 16 to 1 chances. Androma is 25 to 1 from 20s, perhaps lucky 50 to 1. The Howlett on 100 to 1. To show. As they come down towards the first, Solari's leads by about half a length to Langham Dyer. <clears throat> then Brandy Hamro in the green with the yellow sash of well backed horse. Hard to see up with the pace early. Little Paul Vera and then Mithras and Knock Hill, followed by Pampering and Star of Screen and Hardy Lad. And behind that one mighty mark, the leaders at the first, the leaders are over. And they've all jumped the first safely. Cheney's Brig, what's what? And on the inside, the Howlett are the last three to jump the first. Quite a short run to the second, and the Langham Dyer now takes it up on the inside of Solaris. RDC is third. Then behind these, in fourth place, is Mithras. Five is Knock Hill. Six, Pampering. Seven, Brandy Hambro. Eight, Little Polvia. Nine is Hardy Lad. And ten is Mighty Mark. And behind these comes uh, Perhaps Lucky. And Perhaps Lucky is followed on the inside by Andrema. And the uh, leaders take the ditch where Knock Hill made a mistake. And Brandy Hambro is unseated its rider. So a fancy one is out of the race. As they continue their journey down the far side, it's the Langham Dyer in the lead as they go to the fourth. The Langham Dyer leading from, in second place, Solaris. Those remaining are over the fourth, and it's the Langham Dyer who leads from Solaris second. RDC is third. Mithras racing four. Pampering is five. A break of a length and a half to Knockhill, who's in sixth place. Then comes Andromer in seventh. Behind Andromo is Little Polvere. After that one is Mighty Mark, and behind Mighty Mark is perhaps Lucky. Then comes Over the Road, and Over the Road followed by Hardy Lag. A break then of a length and a half to Star of Screen, but up front, it's the Langham Dyer that shares the lead. The Langham Dyer that shares the lead with on the outside Solaris. Then behind these comes RDC. Wide of that one is a rank outside of Pampering. Little Paul Veer might just be hampered by a loose horse. Let's see what the SP was. They've got a hell of a long way to go. As they come down towards the sixth, the Langham Dyer, the favourite out in front. Mithras at 15 to 2. Mighty Mark at 9 to 1. So too hardy lad. And they come down towards the sixth. And it's the Langham Dyer being preceded by a loose horse. Let's hope the loose horse jumps it. And it's Brandy Hambro's over in front, but without his jockey. So it's the Langham Dyer in the lead, sharing it with uh, Solaris. The next one they take is an open ditch. The Langham Dyer and Solaris share the lead from RDC and Pampering and Mithras right on the inside, tracked by Knock Hill. Very wide he is over the road in company with Little Polvere. And with that one on the inside, Mighty Mark and Androma. And they come down towards the eighth. And as they come to it, it's Pampering the rank outside of the chairs, the lead now with Solaris. Pampering and Solaris, the Langham Dyer. Mithras made a shocking mistake there. Lost a couple of lengths, but they passed the post with two complete circuits to go. And it's Solaris, Pampering and the Langham Dyer from RDC. Just ahead of Little Paul Veer and Hardy Ladder. Mithras just being niggled along. Then over the road and Andromer and perhaps Lucky and Cheney's Brig. The Howlett, Mighty Mark, Knock Hill, What's What. And the back marker on the inside is the tartan colours of Star of Scream. But up front, it's three, line across the track. On the inside is the Langham Dyer as they head down towards the ninth. And the Langham Dyer has it from Solaris, Pampering on the outside. RDC is behind that one. Knock Hill made a slight mistake. They're all over the ninth and they turn into the back straight. They've completed a circuit down towards the tenth end. And it's the Langham Dyer on the inside of Solaris and Pampering and uh, John Frank. And at this stage, the pace is sound. Got a very good gallop all of the way in, on this sticky ground. It's going to be a survival of the fittest from here on in. I think Solaris is running very well. He looked, uh, he's having his fourth run of the season. He looked big enough to be having his first run. He looked fantastic beforehand. And also over the road, Terry Casey was worried about the stiffness of the horse, but he's going well in about eighth place on the outside. So they go down towards the the 11th, and as they do so, it's Solaris with the Langham Dyer and Pampering on the outside, Mithras and RDC. The back marker is the Howlett. 
Behind RDC and Mithras come Hardy Laddy just starts to get into gear, then Knock Hill and Andrew and Mighty Mark going well. Little Polvier is wide, even wider still is over the road. Behind that one comes Star of Screen and the leaders are over that. That's a ditch. And uh, the back marker is the Howlett. Solaris leads from the Langham Dar in second. Pampering in the hoops leads his third. The yellow jacket of RDC close up four. Mithras on the inside is five. Then comes Hardy Lad six. Mighty Mark is seven. Knockhill is eight. And behind these comes Andrew Dromer and over the road. Behind that one, Cheney's Brigham, Watts Watton, perhaps Lucky and Star of Screen. And the back markers is the Howlett as they take the last on the far side and it's Solaris in the lead now Solaris with pampering on the outer and RDC and RDC in the yellow jacket just goes through to take it up RDC by three parts of the length to the Langham Dyer as they turn out of the back straight and down towards the 15th and in the lead it's RDC by length to the Langham Dyer and then comes pampering Solaris just drops back a place or two uh, could be given a breather Cheney's Briggers make ground just in behind these is Hardy's lad and after that one in Knock Hill mighty mark going well Methra still uh, being pushed along next to the rails Guy Landor having quite a hard ride on that but as they come down towards the 15th it's a plain fence and in the yellow jacket it's RDC with the hoops it's it's pampering wide of these comes Cheney's Brig as they come to the 15th on the inside is the Langham Dyer and those four line across the track within half a length of these uh, is on the inside over the road wide is what's what and they come down towards the 16th and it's the Langham Dyer on the inside of RDC and then comes pampering wide of these is Cheney's Brig even wider over the road on the inside Mithras mighty mark and hardy lad and they come down towards the 17th and as they do so this will be the last next time round it's RDC in the lead RDC the leader by three parts of a length and so the order as they set out with a circuit to go the field still quite tightly packed but it's RDC who just shades the Langham Dyer pampering his wide Mithras in four, Mighty Mark creeping closer, five, Hardy Lad keeping tabs with that one, six, a break over the length of Cheney's Brig, seven, over the road, eight, what's what, nine, and at the rear of the field is little Paul Veer, that's uh, right out of it, and that looks as if that one's going to be pulling up as they head down towards the 18th, and it's RDC, the leader, from the Langham Dyer, then Mithras and Pampering out on the outside. Mighty Mark is getting much closer. Knock Hill behind that one. Hardy Lad and Watts Water wide. And little Paul Veer continuing but tailed off. And they turn into the back straight and they go down towards the 19th fence. And it's RDC by length now to the Langham Dyer in second place. Pampering is third. Then on the outside uh, comes Watts Watt. That's made very good ground quite quickly. Hardy Lad behind that one. Then the Mighty Mark and behind that one is Mithras. Followed by Over the Road and Cheney's Bridge gets back into contention as RDC takes him over that pampering starts to drop back the Howlett is tailed off and made a bad mistake but it's RDC the leader as they continue down the far side and so towards the 20th of the 26 fences and RDC has it Hardy Ladd is making ground on the outside of the Langham Dyer Knock Hill makes a mistake there but it's RDC in the lead from in second place Hardy Ladd now Genius Brig on the outer is getting closer and on the outside of that one comes what's what Hardy Ladd close up this is the second last ditch and on the inside it's RDC who just leads over the road making good ground on the outside that's getting into a challenging position mighty mark is going ominously well but up front as they go to the second last on the far side it's RDC who leads but makes a mistake in second place comes Cheney's Brig mighty mark is going mighty well in third place as they continue their journey down the far side of the track they go down towards the 23rd four from home this and it's RDC who has it from Cheney's Brig in second mighty mark is third over the road in the white jacket for the Langham Dyer five what's what is six and they turn out of the back straight and wouldn't you like to be on mighty mark it's in third place but it's RDC who just has it from Cheney's Brig in second and over the road starts to stay on on the outside of mighty mark these are the leading four have opened up a break of four to five lengths to the Langham Dyer and then comes what's what a big gap to Hardy that has got a lot to do as they turn into the home straight and it's uh, Cheney's Brig in the lead just but RDC on the inside mighty mark with the red sleeves the horse with the white face is over the road and the Langham Dyer tries to get back into the contention as they come down towards a third from home and Cheney's Brig has it by a length and a half to mighty mark who's going well over the road on the outside is third they come down towards a third last Cheney's Brig mighty mark and over the road that was RDC that's Langham Dyer that's what's what and Hardy lad they're the outsiders as they come down towards the second uh, from home and mighty mark with the red sleeves going extraordinarily well and comes with to take up the running mighty mark with the red sleeves Cheney Brig on the far side over the road is third these are 10 12 15 next clear of the rest 
and Mighty Mark finds an extra spurt as it comes down towards the final fence. Mighty Mark has the race. He comes to it, jumps it boldly and well. And Mighty Mark in the lead from Cheney's Brig in second. What a week this is for Brian Storey. He won the Scottish champion hurdle yesterday. He's going to win the William Hill Scottish National today. And up toward the line, Mighty Mark draws well clear. And at the line, Mighty Mark by 10, 15 lengths. Cheney's Brig in second over the road is third. Behind these came RD. Sees. In fact, Hardy Lad just gets fourth. RDC five, the Langham Dyer six. What's what seven? Mithras was eight. And looking back, Pampering is being pulled up, and the rest are being pulled up right down the track. I see that Doc Hill has been pulled up, and so quite a training triumph this uh, for the Walton team because number 11, Mighty Mark, is owned by uh, Mrs. Frank Walton, trained at Morpeth and ridden by Brian Storey.